Good morning and a welcome to the India Sweden Business Day. Uh, my name is uh, Rupali and I'm the CEO of Content People, a sustainability communications company. It is indeed a pleasure to be the host for the inaugural session of uh, India Sweden Business Day. This year, the focus is on sustainable development and innovation, and there are going to be a host of engaging sessions and takeaways from today's panelists, so looking forward to that. Uh, before we move on, I would like to call on stage the man who's actually made it all happen, Sanju Malotra. Without you, we wouldn't have seen the India-Sweden Business Day. He has been at it year after year. So a big hand, uh, ladies and gentlemen, for Sanju Malotra. Thank you. Welcome to the fifth India Unlimited Business Day. It's a real pleasure to have you here this early morning on Monday, on a dark autumn night. <laughs> um, so India is expected to be the third largest economy by 2025. And powering this is the trend towards urbanization and what's and how that's going to increase consumption power as well as, as, well as economic leverage. With high growth, India will need to find innovative technological solutions connected with creating sustainable environments. We are in the beginning of a revolution around the world where there are huge advances in genomics, artificial intelligence, materials, and manufacturing technologies. Sweden is called the world's most modern country, and Swedish companies are strong in innovation in R&D. The theme for today, as Rupali said, is sustainable development and innovation. So today we will listen to bright ideas from people behind them, from our innovation hackathoners this afternoon, startups to the global established and newly established companies, both from India and Sweden. Looking at technology's potential to harness change so the key issue is, can technology and innovation help India achieve sustainable development goals and the prior Paris Climate Agreement goals while we are looking for growth? So this is obviously one of the key issues that is going to be discussed today. How can Swedish companies contribute here? We also have some Indian companies invested in Sweden, creating jobs, creating opportunities. How can they contribute to the Swedish, reaching the Swedish goals for SDG? So this is a two-way street that we are talking about. So before I start, I just want to thank all our, um, the Embassy of India and our valuable partners for making this day possible. And we have put together a great program for you today that we hope you can use your time here today to deepen your knowledge and more importantly, make new connections, find synergies and contribute to the India-Sweden story. I will end by giving Mahatma Gandhi's quote, be the change you want to see in the world. Thank you so much.